The Dukes and Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex, collectively known as the Fab Four, will help the public tolerate Prince Charles as king, leading royal expert Phil Dampier has claimed. Mr. Dampier has reported on the royals for more than 30 years. He has written numerous books on the Windsors, the most recent of which was published this year. Prince Charles, who turned 70 this year, is the longest-serving heir apparent to the crown in UK history. Referring to the public, Mr. Damier argued, with the younger royals coming up behind you can see the future mapped out so I think they're more than happy to tolerate Charles for the relatively short period he's going to be king. There's a hardcore of people who don't like Prince Charles and I don't think anything's going to change their mind, but I think most people respect him and do appreciate he's been handed an extremely difficult talk. Prince Charles, born in November 1948, has been next in line for the throne since his mother became queen in February 1952. He is also the longest-serving Prince of Wales in history, having held the title since 1958. Mr. Damier claimed Prince Charles is now happy with his situation. He stated, There's no doubt in my mind that he's much happier and more contented now than he ever has been. Ten to twenty years ago I think he was extremely impatient and frustrated by his role but marrying Camilla has definitely changed him and mellowed him. I think he now just accepts that he's going to have to wait until whenever it is and is fairly relaxed about that, whereas before I think he used to find it very frustrating. Mr. Damier has traveled to more than fifty countries while reporting on the royals, and has appeared on UK and international TV. His most recent book, Royally Suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words, was published earlier this year. Mr. Damier added that the young royals significantly increased the monarchy's popularity across the Commonwealth realms, which have the Queen as head of state, and not just the UK. He claimed, I think that with the popularity of the young royals it wouldn't surprise me if when the Queen dies countries like Canada and New Zealand actually keep the monarchy. I think the monarchy is so popular now and there's such a lot of interest in the younger royals, that I can easily see that they would vote to keep them.